that's what Brett's saying. That's not reviewable. Oh, Duck. First pass is on Shivers. Receiver at tight end. Dressed, but hasn't been Witherspoon again with a big play. They're thin in the secondary. Blitz. Down goes Jones. Witherspoon got him. His first in the NFL. And right well, and he got popped. This was big. Back the other way, Witherspoon. To love him in Seattle. How about six points? Seattle Seahawks rookie cornerback Devin Witherspoon has been garnering respect around the league after playing in just four career games. To date, his seven combined interceptions and forced incompletions this season are third in all of football. Among all NFL cornerbacks with a minimum of 200 snaps, his overall rating is third in the league, his run defense is graded at second in the league, and pass rush is first among all cornerbacks. As Brian Nemhauser states here, Devin is not just in the Rookie of the Year conversation, he's in the All-Pro conversation. Because after all, he's locking down all pros on a weekly basis. Versus Jamar Chase this past weekend, he allowed just one reception, three total yards, along with two pass breakups. Versus Amon Ross St. Brown, he also allowed just one reception, totaling just eight yards. And versus Adam Thielen, he allowed one reception for 15 yards. And in game three of his career, he locked his first two sacks in the league and became the only NFL player to have two plus sacks and a 95 plus yard touchdown in the same game. And no other rookie in history has had two plus sacks and a 95 plus yard touchdown over the course of an entire season. And with the defense now stacked with Jamal Adams, Quandre Diggs, Tariq Woolen, Devin Witherspoon, just to name the secondary, the Seahawks have their next iteration of the Legion of Boom and might have one of the best defenses in all of football in the near future. Sure, you expect the number five overall pick in the draft to perform, but did you know that Devin was a zero star recruit coming out of high school? The underdogs always make for a great player profile, so let's get into it. But before we do, if you're a fan of this type of content, make sure to like and subscribe. And after this video, go check out the rest of the player profile series, as I have over 30 of these videos covering both baseball and football. Devin grew up in Pensacola, Florida, where he attended Pine Forest High School. He actually didn't start playing football until his junior year, but he found out pretty quickly he would have some potential there. Before football, he was playing basketball and running track. He was a standout high jumper and was also a part of multiple championship relay teams in the 4x100 relay. As a senior, he was named the 2018 Pensacola News Journal Male Athlete of the Year. And after not being highly recruited, he initially planned to attend Hutchinson Community College in Kansas. And part of this was due to the fact that at the time he was not academically qualified for NCAA Division I football, so he took the SAT. And in the summer of 2019, the University of Illinois took a chance on Devin. They were coming off of a disappointing 4-8 season, and they saw some potential. He earned the starting spot his true freshman year, and was the only true freshman starting on the Illinois defense. He would play in all of the team's 12 games, recording 389 snaps. He combined for 33 tackles and two pass deflections. And here's a video from his true freshman year. As the tweet states, Devin saved the game when he grabbed the sprinting receiver by the toe and surfed behind him until he fell. This led to a goal line stand by Illinois, and they would end up winning by one point. At the time, Wisconsin was ranked number six in the country, and this is talked about as one of the biggest upsets in Big Ten history. This is just a testament to the type of player that Devin is. Devin's sophomore year was cut short due to COVID, but he was able to pick up his first two interceptions of his career, as well as his first forced fumble. In 2021, he was an all Big Ten honorable mention, played and started in 10 games, and recorded 52 tackles, eight of them for loss, a sack, and nine pass breakups on the season. And during the matchup between Illinois and Penn State, they went into nine overtimes, making it the longest game in college football history, and Illinois would prevail. Devin would head into his junior year in college in 2022, beginning the year as the Big Ten Conference leader in passes defended. He was getting better every year, and with that gain in production was a gain in confidence. 
Teammates regarded Devin as the leading trash talker on the team, and when asked about the biggest talkers on the team, his offensive teammate Isaiah Williams joked that Spoon is number one. Spoon is at one, and then we go to like five. Devin stated, I gotta talk, it's just me. I can't live without doing it. But Devin could back up his talk. Devin was named one of the three finalists for the Thorpe Award, which is given to the best defensive back in all of the country. He became the first Thorpe Award finalist in Illinois history. He also became the first ever defensive back to be named a consensus All-American in Illinois history, and was named the best defensive back in all of the Big Ten, being named the Tatum Woodson Defensive Back of the Year. As we look at C.J. Stokes on the first play Ooh. of this possession, and then he got blasted by Devin Witherspoon. When you think of cornerbacks, in general, you think of guys with speed and coverage. Devin is not afraid to lay the hit stick, and you'll see him flying around the edge to blitz. And then when the opportunity's there, he'll show off his speed. He would finish the year with 41 tackles, two and a half of them for loss, three interceptions, one of them for a touchdown, 14 pass breakups, and again, the Big Ten Defensive Back of the Year. And in his final year, he allowed zero touchdowns in coverage, and I saw a wild stat. Over his college career, he had more interceptions with five than he allowed receiving touchdowns in coverage against him with four. He would enter the draft standing in at 5'11 and a half, 181 pounds, with 31 and a quarter arms and 8 and 7 eighths inch hands. He was ranked the third best cornerback heading into the draft, but the Hawks had him as number one in their board. Coach, are you ready? Ready, Coach. Oh, I know you are. I know you are. Which brings us to current day. So make sure to tune in and watch for Devin, because with how he plays the game, you don't want to miss a snap. Thank you for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this.